Technicians Brewery. Taste and tell. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got beer mail. It's always an honor to receive uh, something that someone else has brewed. And this one is from Northern Ireland. So without further ado, let's open this box up and see what's inside. So at first glance, it looks intact. So we're just gonna open it up and see. Well, it's too bad that one of the bottles broke. Uh, I think it looked like they were packed pretty good with the bubble wrap and all of that. But one little piggy made it through. So this is going in the fridge for a couple of days. And then we're going to have a taste test. So. A shout out to Smokey from Smokehouse Ales in Northern Ireland for sending me the spear mail. Uh, this is an experimental brew, I've been told, around 5% ABV, as it says on the label. Uh, and then we'll find out what it's all about in a few days. Cheers, Smokey. Thank you. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a beer taste testing because I received a beer mail from Northern Ireland and this time I'm lucky enough to have the brewer with me here. Uh, this is uh, Smokehouse Ales from Northern Ireland. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Good stuff. So it says Matt's Brew. So this was brewed for your friend and neighbor's birthday party, right? Yes, this was just a, a refreshing brew through the gallery for my friend's birthday. Um, it consists, it's a basic simple recipe really. It consists of uh, uh, Mountain's don't, Pino, don't tell Pino me. Malt. Don't tell me. Um, don't tell me. We're gonna okay, do. Okay. We're gonna do a taste testing here. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so I know it's pale malt now, obviously. Uh, and it says five percent on the bottle, and I think without further further ado, let's give it a pour and see what it's all about. It's it's, it's probably slightly over five percent, by the way. All right. It was, it was five in the keg, so. Ooh, that's interesting. Smelled a little bit fruity and bitter on the nose. Uh, it's got very good carbonation, and I'm paying attention to the dregs of the bottle. And nice frothy head. 
Uh, oh yeah, it is fruity. I'm getting like um, grapefruit maybe and orange orange zest maybe and I would say probably passion fruit. Be spot on with those three. All three zests are in it. Really? That's fun. All three zests. Valencia yeah. and oranges, uh, passion fruit, and uh, grapefruit. Yeah. Very nice upside down snowstorm. So, yeah. Let's dive in. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I like the dryness of it. Very clean yeast. Did, uh, is this a USO5 or something? Yes, that was a USO5. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Wow, this is a nice beer. Very, very well balanced. Um, so the malts are coming through. Uh, I like the color. It's quite a, a, a golden, a dark golden color, I would say. Very nice. R really nice, yeah. Mm. And um, the fruits in there, the zest, gives you a sort of a tingling on your tongue and uh -huh. it, it coats, coats the mouth with a tart feeling. Can you detect? Can you detect any hop? It's very hard. Now I would say an English hop, like either East King Goldings or Fuggles. No. 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 The hop, the hop probably disappears among the the flavors of the the zest because the hop was. It's only a single hop in it, uh, uh, and it was maybe an American Cascade or something. It was Halatai oh. uh, Blanc, mm. which is quite oh. it's quite a oh. high alpha hop, like it's over ten AA. But I mean, it it produces very strong uh, tropical sort of grapefruity flavors, so it probably oh. gets. The hot flavor probably goes right in there with the zest. Yes, it's a very nice. Uh, there, there's nothing in there that contradicts each other. Yeah. It's a very, very nice balanced uh, brew. It's it's only coming in at around 18 IBUs. It's not it's not a big high in the numbers, um, and it's uh, like I said, it was five percent in the keg, so it's it's probably you're probably getting five point three or so there. Yeah, with the carbonation on the bottle, yeah. It had, it's basically only had uh, Montan's Palpino Pale Malt and uh, some German Carapels on Yeah. I'm afraid your pitcher froze up, but uh, yeah. it's, very, yeah, it's very hard to get the Halotel Blanc through... Uh, at this point, anyway, maybe it's different off the keg. I don't know, uh, but at this point, it's extremely hard well, to get. Because it's all dank. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say, I I would drink this again. I would definitely it, drink this again. Yeah. Good, good to hear. It was just a, it was just supposed to be that sort of fruit flavored, refreshing brew, you know. Yeah, I think you nailed it. I think you nailed it. I, I would, I could drink this all summer. I have my camera. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, we had, a, we had a couple of kegs, but it's all, uh, it's all gone. That's the last bottle in existence that you're drinking, so. Excellent. Well, uh, viewers, thank you for watching. Unfortunately, Paul did send two bottles. The other one was a Kolsch, is that right? Yeah, the other one was a Kolsch beer, yeah. Um, unfortunately, it, it uh, didn't get there in one piece. <laughs> nah, 
Yeah, uh, I covered that in the unboxing video. Um, so, yeah, they all saw that at the start of this clip here. Alright, so, I haven't seen that. Uh, the unboxing video is not up yet then? No, it's going to be at the start of the stuff that I'm recording now. That's cool. I'll That's, have to watch it up. Yeah. I'm so, sorry about my camera. I'm not going to break it. still froze and I turned it off and on. That's it. Say the computer's needing a read. Do it for working here. Don't worry. It's uh, it's a no matter. Um, but it's very nice of you to uh, be here for the recording and for you to fill in the blanks. Uh, no problem. It's unfortunate the camera wouldn't work better and we could have got it going a little bit better because we're breaking up stuff too, you know. So, But with the... Uh, yeah, I mean, so I'm glad one of the beers made it there anyway. So, I mean, it, it was a pretty simple beer. I mean, there was nothing complicated in it, you know, but I was just curious to see how the, the zest of all the flavors would turn out, you know, with the different fruits. So. I, without a doubt, seemed, very balanced. Yeah, it seemed to work well, so. Very balanced. Yeah. So, again, yeah. cheers. Yeah. Thank you so much for, you know, making the effort to send me this. And, uh, yeah. I, I love it. So, cheers and 17. Thanks for watching, oh, folks. If through Bye. 17. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, push that button. Click the like button. Uh, if you don't want to miss the next update, click that little bell next to the subscribe button as well. So, have a good one. Cheers. <laughs>